Jen and I have my little Tilly here with me today. We're at Hatch Studios where we always film Toast Meets Jam and I wanted to give you an update on where we're at with building the Toast Meets Jam business which I announced in last week's video. So the big news is that I've decided I'm going to launch a shop on toastmeetsjam.com. Um, I realized that you guys were really liking the post I was putting on Instagram with the motivational quotes and phrases. And, you know, I was thinking, gosh, I would really love to have these on like a coffee mug or notebook or other office supplies. And I did some looking around and I couldn't find anything. So I just figured, hey, this looks like a great place to start. Why don't I put these on the things that I would like to own? And I think that you guys might really like that too. So phase one of building Toast Meat Jam business, we're going to start with a shop. So my first step that I have taken so far is that I reached out to the wonderful team at the Wonder Jam. Um, husband and wife, Ali and Adam, are the duo that built the Toast Meets Jam website. I love them and they are so amazing to work with. I am absolutely going to leave their link in the video description below because if you need a website or design help, I cannot recommend them enough. They are amazing. So to start, I went back to Instagram and I you know, went on Pinterest and I found some quotes and phrases that you know, I really love and that you guys are really liking and responding to. Um, and I shared those with Ali and she has gone through and hand lettered them and just created these beautiful, amazing prints out of the design. So things like, you know, take the risk and be you and, um, I love the one, you know, uh, wake up and smell the inspiration, which is going to go uh, on a coffee mug. So right now we have those designs and I'm in the process of sourcing products and samples. Now I'm looking for things where I don't have to store a lot of inventory or, you know, none if possible. Um, going to use Teespring to start with a couple of t-shirt ideas. Um, and I am looking for other businesses like Teespring that can do coffee mugs and notebooks or really, you know, anything else that, you know, you guys know that's out there. I'd love your recommendations. So please leave those in the comments. Um, I found Cafe Press. If you guys have worked with them, let me know what you think and let me know of any other ones. Um, but my goal in getting started is really to keep it simple and be able to move as fast as possible. So avoiding having to get inventory is key. Um, in the meantime, while I am working on getting those products and uh, those sources available, I am going to go ahead and start by launching with some affiliate products. So there are some great things out there um, on some other sites that I found that I want to share with all of you. Um, so that's how I'm going to start. And I think that'll also give me a good chance to see what you guys like best and what you want to see more of. Now, my ultimate goal is to get everything up and running in time for Black Friday. I really want to hit this Christmas season. So I'm going to ask you all to hold me accountable, check in, leave your comments, follow me on social, make sure that I stick to my goals and that I have something for you all. So that's where we're at. So excited to be taking the first step. Um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. And um, as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I like that it represents curiosity and like kind of risking, like you're yeah. risking things when you're trying something new. Um, and I think it's more of a mindset. Like I know people who are 50 years old who say that they're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. Um,